Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Which is easy to filter and search in 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 search uh, in a in future after that in a Splunk. So as I said, right? Let's say there's a millions of line lines of Apache server log. But how do I know which server log belong to which server one? So that is where you have to tag it. So that is something. Event types see you got comfortable. Reports and dashboard, you know, apps. Uh, apps is a basically Splunk. Apps basically is a way to enhance the add the more features in a Splunk and so on. Permission user rules and and these are the more complex infrastructure. So I'm just not covering right now. Okay. So now that is the introduction of Splunk. Now let's talk about the some of the installing options. So I have made it clear. We'll have a basic uh, installation architecture. So uh, the offering in terms of offering, uh, Splunk have an enterprise edition and Splunk Cloud is available. Splunk Lite is also available. So uh, there's some limitations which we have for the in terms of license uh, that uh, you may take care of it when you need it. So we can try Splunk Enterprise, which is uh, the trial is available for 60 days and so on. Cost or all, you don't want to get into that right now and so much. Okay. So now what we will do, we'll install. The plan is very simple. Let me put it up in this. So here we have to install the forwarder and the forwarder will send the data to indexer and from here the arrow will be opposite here you will have a search this is the architecture we are trying to get started with now now in this this one Uh, will be the another component and here I'll be using this one for one package uh, basically you know what the Splunk package please hear me out Splunk package can be used as an indexer alone Splunk package can be used as a search head alone or you can make this package to act like a booth this is up to you and forwarder is a different component Okay, so something like this. So let's uh, let's start with it. So I'm going to create one box for this template. So here I have a Splunk already. So let me start this box. Now from where you will download the package. So we will go first plan to download simple and click here and freeze plan and you don't want this cloud version so where is a see cloud platform enterprise so you have to click here and there is a universal forwarder here so this one and here you have to fill the some form and they'll take you to the some website uh, that url is not coming so i'll just get you that exact URL. okay so these all tutorials you can use it further 
so these are the urls which i have uh, after once you go in and fill this form you will have this all url okay so here this is a tarball uh, linux rpm file here debian here again you can get the yourself also that's not a problem this is the universal folder and this is the splunk packages for the linux now how do we install it so i'll show you anyways okay so you have to download yourself uh, i'm not doing in front of you you'll just waste time waiting it because the package size is pretty large uh, just wait for it are you able to see my screen right all of you yes yeah just hold on for a second i think my vm is creating some problem so i'll have to restart it So the package is already downloaded, just to save time, we'll use that only. So what is the IP address of this machine is 10. So let me open up my putty. And here, 192.168.1.10. Root is the username and password is Rajesh12. So now, let me improve this view. Okay, so now this is the machine. Now here, if you see that, this is the Splunk one. And I think these are old installations of the last sessions. So what I will do, I will just delete this old file because I want to show you fresh. So downloading you will do offline. This package you will do that. Uh, here you have a direct link just to save your time you can use this links you don't have to register it so tarball hyphen jxvf and enter so this is Splunk now I repeat this Splunk right now I'm making it use of as an indexer and search head booth because as I said, you can assign the single rule also. There is a way to do that and uh, or multiple rules also. By default, it's a multiple rule actually. So this will be do the, do the parsers also, indexers also and search it. So this is the Splunk I got it now. Uh, CD Splunk. And here you have a bin directory. And here you have to use the Splunk to start it so all these commands you have here also uh, so you extract it and this is the done to the rpm and start command you can do from like this so if you don't uh, use the accept license it will prompt you so it's up to you whether you run this command or this command it's up to you this is the Debian command, this is the Linux, this is the tarball and all. So yes, let me accept the license and enter. Now what is your, uh, please enter the administrator uh, username. So this Splunk, uh, if you want to access again, then they will ask you the username and password. So what should I keep it? Let's keep it EDMIN and password is rajesh123 rajesh123 and then so now this will be starting this now the by default your uh, splunk will be available on 8000 port just wait for a few more seconds don't rush because it takes some time to load it so you have started the splunk splunk server 
which includes indexer and such. Just wait for it. Done. So now your app Splunk is available. Okay. You can also set up all this thing, but right, right now not enabled because tomorrow I'm not going to use it. So I don't have to do this. Okay. So what to do? So what was the IP address I forgot? This is the Splunk 8000 IP address. Here it is. Now, username was the admin, right? And password was Rajesh12. This is just Splunk, which we need to learn now. Any questions so far, all of you? Any questions? Hello. I think that's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So there is one question from Jamil Pasha. How is this plank different from Grafana and Prometheus? So Jamil, are you there in this call? Yeah, he is here. Yeah. So I'll see here. Initially, uh, let me put it in this way. Plunk. Plunk. Grafana. Prometheus. Now, initially, if you <clears throat> look at the history of Plunk, then they are the leaders in log analysis when you look at the history of grafana is a company name they were providing the dashboard solution only dashboard solution okay. so they were offering dashboard and then if you look at the prometheus they were having the time series database Prometheus is a database. This is a dashboard. This is a complete stake for the log analysis and only dashboard. Later on, Splunk converted into observability platform by adding the infra monitoring and APM and everything. Whatever you can think of it for enterprise observability, you have it. Now, Grafana that they become a popular with the dashboard but later on they also introduced lots of product so they also wanted to become an observability platform okay so if you see that here now products see i don't know why it's not okay hmm. so you see that logs you see the traces you see the matrices and uh, uh, Grafana for dashboard. So see logs is powered by Grafana Loki. Traces is powered by Tempo. And matrices is powered by Mimir and Prometheus. And Grafana anyways dashboard. So they also got into now in the current format. They also providing the same thing observable. Time series is, is, is not changing. This is still is like a is like a monitoring platform on database for storing the time series data and collecting the different different source of the data like hundreds of exposures are there. So Prometheus were designed for uh, not for log analysis, not for APM, but only for the matrices. So Prometheus you will have a matrices. Only one thing you get matrix in from matrix. I mean different different informatives not a log not a so that's the Prometheus. now prometheus was very popular in kubernetes uh, monitoring solution because prometheus is from cncf kubernetes is also from cncf and so on. so that is a something which you should know about is that your answer your question okay so now uh, this is your plan now, if you see that here, where is the search head? 
I want to know the search head. So search head is here, search and reporting. So this is the learnings techniques which you have to learn this way. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.